Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 98 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about time to leave settings in Azure IR that will actually help you to reduce the cluster spin up type for data flows. So, please watch my previous videos in Azure Data Factory where I have explained clearly about what is data flow and everything right so all the videos are in sequence order so let me give you quick uh, brief about it before discussing this video so whenever you create any data flow in azure data factory so let's assume this is a data flow then to run this data flow what will happen adf will spin up one cluster behind the scenes you don't have any control adf will automatically spin up this cluster and this entire data flow will be executed on this spark cluster so these are actually spark clusters so whenever you execute any data flow sometimes you observe that uh, it will take little time to execute it why because it has to spin up the cluster and then it has to execute your data flow so that's the reason it will take some time usually i will practically show you that as well so but so that is a very big headache actually previously because let's assume i want to execute 10 data flows so then let's assume uh, spin up time is 3 minutes so for every data flow it has to uh, 3 minutes spin up time plus the let's say 2 minutes for execution time so totally every data flow will run for 5 minutes actually why because spin up then 2 minutes for the execution then data flow 2 so let's assume this is for data flow 1 then again for data flow 2 it will do the same thing 3 minutes for spin up 2 minutes for the execution so it is very time consuming process actually so now what happened is they introduced something called time to leave setting inside the Azure IR which help you to use the previously spinned up cluster only. You no need to spin up the cluster every time. Let's say your data flows are in sequence order one after another. So let's say you have data flow 1. Then after that you want to run data flow 2. Then here it will spin up and the same cluster will be used by data flow 2 also for the processing. So let's assume this will take 3 minutes for spin up and 2 minutes for execution then here it will take only 2 minutes for execution there is no spin up time involved for the data flow 2 why because now that setting is not required right I mean this time to leave setting will take care of that it will spin up the cluster it will make sure that the cluster will be available for next 30 minutes and within the 30 minutes if any new data flow is executed on the same IR then that will use the same cluster actually so that way you don't need to spin up every time so this is not only 30 minutes you can set it to 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes so till the time you make it alive you have to pay the money also accordingly so let me practically explain you this so let's go to browser actually so in my browser i have already opened my data factory and here if i go I have one data flow created here which will take some file from my uh, ADLS Gen2 and it will place it into the ADLS Gen2 itself. So what my data flow is doing, let's not worry about it. So let me do one thing. Let me create a new pipeline here, uh, pipeline 1 and here what I am doing is I am adding this data flow. So using this data flow activity, if you go to settings, I am executing my data flow. So let's drag and drop once one more time. Okay. So I added my data flow two times. So first it will execute here and then it will execute here and if you observe both the data flows in settings we are using auto resolve integration runtime even here I am using if I go to setting auto resolve integration runtime only. So now what is this auto resolve integration runtime. So let me go to manage integration if I open this auto resolve integration runtime and if I open data flow runtime tab here you can say it is it has a zero minutes of time to leave and you cannot change it why because this IR is Azure type IR only but it will come by default when you create a data factory so you cannot change the time to leave settings here so in future if you want to do that you have to create a separate Azure type IR by your own and change the time to leave accordingly so now in short this is Azure IR where I have time to leave setting is 0 minutes that means cluster will spin up and immediately it will be vanished so it is not available for the next data flow so that's the reason if I execute this pipeline then here it will spin up the cluster and it will execute the data flow 1 and again it will come here here again it will spin up the cluster and again it will execute it so it will take same time almost 
to execute both the data flows because in both the cases it has to spin up the cluster let me practically show you that so let me publish these changes first once the publish completes i am going to trigger this pipeline and show you the time taken by each data flow there so you can, you can click this bell icon to see the published status whether my resources are published or not so publish completed here let me do one thing let me trigger this pipeline by hitting the trigger now button so once you do that to monitor that pipeline executions you can go to monitor tab and here you can monitor your pipeline executions so pipeline 1 is running and if i go inside pipeline 1 i can see my data flow 1 is running here after this execution successful data flow 1 1 will run and here let's wait for the execution to complete here in this below panel i can see how much time taken by each activity here right now data flow 1 activity is running uh, from 14 seconds so let's wait for the execution to complete here i am passing video here now you can see data flow 1 is executed successfully and it took 4 minutes of time now data flow 1 1 is running you remember that i have said that time to leave setting is 0 minutes for the auto resolve integration run time so what will happen right this data flow 1 1 also will take almost the same time it also has to spin up the cluster and then process the data whatever it has to do it so let's wait for this execution also to complete here and see how much time it will take here okay now you can see the second data flow also executed successful and this also took almost the same time why the reason is in first data flow execution it has to spin up and it has to process data the same thing applies to the secondary data flow also here also it has to spin up and it has to process the data so this is the pain point right why to spin up the cluster every time since i spinned up here in the first data flow why can't i use the same thing here also that's what exactly time to live will do so you that setting will help you to keep that particular cluster alive for next 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 13 minutes according to your setting so within that time if next data flow is running then it will directly use that cluster it no need to spin up it so let me practically show you that result as well so now what i am doing i am going to management hub and i am creating a new azure type ir so let me hit continue here and here azure ir so select this azure then let me hit continue and uh, here let me select some region maybe central us okay and then let me go to data flow runtime and here you need to select custom settings and here you can change the time to leave setting so maybe i will keep like time to leave setting to 30 minutes okay so that's fine so let me hit create button to create this ir so now once this ir is created i can use this ir now in my pipeline so what i will be doing it here is let me go here let's not disturb this pipeline let me clone this pipeline so that means i am creating a copy of that pipeline and this time in the data flow under settings tab I will be selecting the new Azure IR which I created where we have 30 minutes of time to leave. Same goes with here also. So I am going to select here integration runtime 1. So now let me publish these changes and this time let me execute this data flow and see how it behaves. What will happen right? The data flow 1 will take almost 4 plus minutes but the second data flow will not take that much of time. It will immediately start using that cluster which is created by data flow 1 and it will directly process the data so it will take less time so publish completed right so let me trigger this pipeline and show you the results so let me hit ok button to trigger this pipeline and then to monitor the pipeline execution let's go to monitor tab here and here let me refresh and see if our, this is our new pipeline right so let me open this pipeline this time and let's wait for the execution to complete here so you can see here right now data flow 1 is running so as i said it has to take almost 4 plus minutes why because it has to spin up the cluster and process the data but this data flow will not take much time so let's wait and see that okay now you can see data flow 1 completed in 4 plus minutes almost 4 minutes 5 seconds but now this second data flow will not take that much of time it will directly start processing the data because cluster is pinned up here already and TTL setting will allow it to make it alive for next 30 minutes. 
so it will directly start using that particular cluster so it will be completing its processing very quickly so let's wait for this execution to complete here you can see the secondary data flow completed within 1 minute 33 seconds why because this time it no need to spin up as i said i hope this given a clarity like how azure integration runtime ttl setting will help you to make use of the spinned up cluster automatically with the subsequent data flows so this will help you to optimize the performance of your data flows drastically so i hope you guys felt this video is very helpful especially this setting is very helpful so let's go to presentation so thank you for listening make sure you select compute size as custom and then select this time to leave option when you are doing that thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much